And uh, let's go ahead and bring in Joav Toker from Paris. He's a geopolitics expert and professor at the American Graduate School in Paris. Professor Toker, thanks for joining us. The protesters currently lack clear leadership. What sort of challenges do you think uh, this presents for both sides, and how sustainable is that? It complicates it, uh, things mainly for the power center, because you don't have an interlocutor. You don't know who to talk about. And as a matter of fact, some of the uh, attempts to find leaders uh, ended up in, in a rather caricatural way. Uh, and uh, for the time being, there are, there are emerging few personalities, few persons are emerging as potential leaders, but none of them is really sufficiently solid and does not um, benefit from a, a sufficient support when it comes to the roots. So uh, um, that makes things more difficult for political power. It makes things also more complicated on the purely security um, uh, front, because, uh, of course, as we know from France, but from other countries as well, uh, when you do not have a solid political process, even uh, uh, regarding a crisis situation, uh, then, of course, there are all kind of uh, parasite elements which are there in order to benefit from the situation, which is the case with extreme right uh, militants and extreme left militants who indeed are exploiting uh, this situation in order to have more disorder, more panic, and more chaos. And a lot of this has been centered on resentment from, for Macron, as we just heard. Uh, you know, they're saying that he is just not one of the people in the land of liberty, equality, and fraternity, the French national motto. Uh, how does Macron fix that or even begin to recover from it? What might we hear him say on Monday? No, he, he's not going to recover from that uh, in the short run or the medium run. This is deep. This was a surprise. One has to remember Macron um, arrived in power just an hour and uh, just a year and a half ago to the surprise of everybody, uh, uh, emerging from practically nowhere with very little political experience and with strictly no governmental experience, mainly because something in his personality was so original, was so uncommon. The fact that he is young, the fact that he does not not, he was not and still is not associated uh, clearly with p traditional political parties and trends. And these were his assets, which become right now, we just are finding out these crises three, four weeks that are becoming the problem. F people feel that he doesn't stand where they stand, that he is not sufficiently empathic in the way they treat them. And he will have to work on that communication-wise and policy. And, and I believe he, he hadn't won an election before the presidency. He wasn't elected a minister. But how are other politicians or even professional uh, uh, presidential hopefuls uh, seizing on this discord, if at all? Well, they're trying their best. That's, uh, these are the rules of the game. But uh, we have to keep in mind that, that there is a five-year mandate for the president in France. He was elected in May of last year. So we're speaking about three and a half years ahead of us in a presidential system, uh, which, unlike most European countries which have parliamentary elections, uh, does not anticipate on a situation in which the president m might lose power just because he is contested and just because people are down the street. Uh, 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 even if his government um, uh, does not benefit from majority in the parliament, which could be the case, theoretically, uh, the president's position himself is not in danger, theoretically, before 2022. So uh, that's still a long time away. All right, Professor Joav Toker uh, from the American Graduate School in Paris, thank you so much for joining us.